Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, we're going to deploy Azure Container Instance and we are working on the labs for uh, AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamental Certification Exam. These labs are available on the GitHub from Microsoft Learning. I'm just going to follow the directions that we have here. Um, so the first task is to create a container instance. We're going to go to the Azure portal and we're going to look for the container instances and then we're going to create an uh, instance, a resource. So let's go to our Azure um, subscription. So look for container instances and that's the container instances showed up. So just click on it. So for most services you will see a very similar pattern. You always have container or whatever you're creating then you have an add button. So let's click on it and it should give you another pane where you can configure how do you want that instance to be created and for us we'll just go over here and uh, we are gonna configure this as per the recommendation so we're gonna create a new resource group and to do that you just click on here paste uh, if you get some space make sure to get rid of all the spaces so now you say yes uh, let's see then the container name is my container let's copy that here's the container name it's looks like it's going to be deployed in west us let's see if they're recommending any so they're saying east east us is my favorite place to deploy things these days if you're watching my videos you probably already know that um then let's see docker hub what, what is the source of the image that you want to use so let's pick up the docker hub let's see where is my uh, 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 docker hub so here we are not going to use the quick start images we're going to use the uh, docker hub and uh, image type public and which image is the microsoft aci hello world that's the image that's a public image and we already know the exact image id and uh, it's saying yeah yeah we, we got it we, we got you so this is all good uh, and then OS type is Linux and size leave it the default so OS type is Linux size they're saying don't no need to change this I'm just gonna keep it as default so again so what you're doing you are deploying a container from docker hub it's a public image that is the name of the image uh, it's, it's released by Microsoft it names ACA hello world it's a type of operating system is a Linux and we're using the default size so then just click on review and create oh this in networking tab you do something oh, oh, we already created started the deployment we should have gone to the networking tab uh, let's go back to the networking tab and uh, let's see what we have on the networking tab dns label they're saying put the dns label in here and make this globally unique gee <laughs> that is globally unique so i'm just going to keep it the way it is uh, note your container will be publicly reachable at dns level uh, if you receive a DNS level not available error message following the deployment specify a different DNS level and redeploy so maybe we want to be a little bit more so just do ebasu okay my container DNS ebasu um, so we have that and are they saying anything else click review and create and then create so again we're gonna do the create uh, and review this is good at least the first time when we created it it done its review but it didn't create we were able to go to the networking tab and uh, do whatever we needed for the networking by uh, creating that uh, DNS and now as per the lab we can create our container okay so let's do that so let's create the container so the now the deployment is undergoing you can see how what it's doing over here you can also see it from the notification pane 
uh, it's gonna show you everything that it uh, looks like all of my previous most of my previous uh, deployments were successful except one but this particular deployment that we're working on is this right there so there is no problem so far uh, here is the my container that's getting deployed okay while it's going on let's go back to the lab let's look at the next tab so this container since it's going to be publicly available once it's deployed we can go there and we can look for the fully qualified domain name and we should be able to go to uh, an URL in a browser and it should give me uh, the web page that is running inside that container okay so that really proves that our container deployment is successful so let's wait for a minute so this is again something I notice a lot of time this view when the deployment is done this go to resource button is activated for whatever reason this button is not it only happens to some type of resources it probably a kind of bug uh, if you see the same pattern you know we probably you, you can submit a ticket or something to Microsoft even say hey we are noticing this but you can go to this resource where is deployed so let's click over here and uh, right and this is the container is the resources that we have deployed it's running state location in the east US uh, we haven't added any tags this is the full fully qualified domain name here we have a public IP address as well and we have deployed only one counter so we can uh, go to that and right there see so my our deployment is successful so that's all about this lab as per the lab that's all you needed to do so just let's uh, look around what we have here real quick as we have just deployed uh, we haven't done any access control we, we will be covering access control in different videos so tags you can also always add some stuff uh, it's a key value fair uh, setting you can look at containers uh, it's just giving you the events that happened to my container giving the event logs it's giving us the properties which port is open how many uh, CPU cores memory uh, being used in that container uh, logs is actually going uh, giving you so if I make a URL request you will show that the new request will show up in here and since I'm using Firefox now you see two different requests right uh, if I make another request like go there one more time I expect that another a uh, log will show up um, very soon okay uh, then looks like here I have a, a connect button that give that is giving me access to that container from this window it says connection close please enter to connect so let's hit enter I haven't tried this feature so we will try that maybe in a different video here you have options to set uh, identities you can use user system assigned identities that is in preview mode uh, you can use user assigned identity that is in pre in also in preview mode uh, here for user assigned identity you can click yes and then you can find what user you wanna assign and, and go from there not part of the lab so we are not going to do that uh, settings also giving you a lot of information where this container is deployed and uh, what is the resource ID container account uh, restart policy so on failure it's going to restart the container so locks we have not defined uh, if you want to export the template that we use to deploy you can do that from here you can download it add to library or you can redeploy uh, for monitoring you can look at the metrics and see how it's doing like you can look for CPU usage click on it look for what's going on for the last 30 minutes okay so really nothing is going on over there uh, you can set up alerts uh, and right now I don't have any alerts set and you can add the new alert rule but before you do that you have to create a accent group so we'll cover all of that in a different video so that's kind of a general overview of the container and how easy it is 
to deploy one container uh, to uh, to Azure. Okay, so we have completed all sections of this lab. So uh, if you're preparing for the exam, 900, good luck. If you like the video, please subscribe, give me a like, and please comment. Good luck with the exam.